Hey, Austin and Katrina, David here. Wanted to take you on a little tour uh, for this house on Halverson. I'm gonna start by, of course, flipping around, but then I'll show you a little bit about the neighborhood. So, you've got some nice wide streets, nice quiet neighborhood. I've sold several houses around here. So it does not have below ground electrical. That's about the only negative, I think. And this is the house, 1302 Halverson. So it's got a little bit of a rock uh, trim with vinyl siding. The home's not very old. Uh, I would say less than 10 years old, if I remember correctly. It's got some nice landscaping. Nice yard. Seems to have a, uh, a very dense grass, at least on this side. It's a pretty good sized lot. There's a good amount of space between the houses. Double car garage, nice wide driveway. All right, let's take a look inside. Good stone door. All right, so as we come inside, we have a little foyer area here with a closet to the right for coats and storage. And it's got a nice big living room. So you can see the they have one couch way over here with a TV way back there. I think most people would probably do more of an L shape here for their couch and leave this more open so that you don't have to walk through your furniture to, uh, you know, to get to the kitchen and what have you. Let's start at the kitchen. Some good, good uh, natural light. Kitchen has a dining area, ample sized, I guess, not huge. Nice big kitchen. It's a really wide span with your sink overlooking the living room. So it's kind of a nice open feel. Decent counter space, lots of cabinets. I like the staggered height cabinet. It's a nice touch. Here's your pantry. And your two car garage. Garage is huge. So here's your garage. They've got a gun safe. Big shelving. And a little vehicle. And I don't know where they take because this is a neighborhood. So just checking out the kitchen from the other side. Got your refrigerator here. All right. Living room. And then back toward the front door and to the left or the right if you're walking in. Straight ahead is bathroom number two for the two guest bedrooms. And it has a nice insert with a nice little transom window over for natural light. It's got tile floors. A fairly normal setup there. So to one side of this bathroom, you have bedrooms two and three. Both are pretty small. Let's get this window open. Try not to worry so much about the massive amounts of stuffed animals that he has. But uh, so that's a queen bed. Uh, 
not a whole lot more room above over and above that but uh, it is a home that sells again and again and again so it's really not an issue it has a good size walk-in closet or excuse me not walk-in closet but just a reach-in closet and let's just look at this room from the other side And this overlooks the front of the house. All right. And the other side, right next to bedroom two is bedroom three. With uh, interesting wall art. This bedroom's about the same size. I would say both bedrooms are very similarly sized. Also with the same closet. So just kind of figure bedrooms two and three are identical or close enough. Uh, they do both overlook the front of the house, which is great for an office. And then we're back to the guest bath. Next is the utility room. It's a nice big room. It's not just a closet. You can see it's got shelving and plenty of room for a big washer and dryer and a window. Then you have a master bedroom, which is nice sized. So it's got the big TV, big piece of furniture there. And one end table over there. That is a that is a big king bed right there. So definitely enough room for a king bed, plenty of room. And great natural light with two different windows. And this overlooks the back of the house. We'll go out there in a second. So master bedroom from the other angle. And you're attached full master bath. It has one sink, but extra space for uh, getting ready in the morning. Nice big walk-in closet for the bedroom. That is on both sides of the racks. And this one, kind of a similar setup to the other bathroom with this one has a garden tub. It's not a jacuzzi tub, but it is a garden tub. So it's round with again that natural light over the top of it. Let's go out to the backyard. Storm door in the back door too. Nice big patio. Nice big yard, fully fenced. Big double gate on one side. Your roof and your HVAC look original to the house, but it's not terribly old. Like I said, I think it's under 10 years. Might be a little bit dirty, but other than that, I don't see any problems. And this kind of gives you an idea of how quiet it is out here. Great little neighborhood. Don't go back in because it's hot. So that uh, is the house in a nutshell. They are taking offers through I want to say Saturday I'll double check on that uh, if we're interested we don't want to wait because if someone else you know comes in with an offer that they want to accept they don't have to wait till Saturday so if there's interest 
definitely let's get you in here. Uh, you know, it has to be seven or eight at night. That's okay. We just got to get you in here. Um, if you need to see it, you might want to buy it without seeing it, but probably want to see it. Uh, like I said, I can't really say much, uh, but positive things about the neighborhood. It's very close to the school. It is two, three miles from Walmart at the most. Um, then you've got right next, right across from Walmart, you've got all, everything you could think of, grocery and coffee and daily needs stuff. So let me know what you think. Thanks.